Well, now, this is the truth. The moment you hit 40 years and above, I mean, this is the moment where the language should change. Your language should not be, I'm looking for a job, I ought to be employed, I have to do these kind of things and all those. You get what I'm saying? So the moment you hit 40 years, their mentality should change in how you approach not only life, but also money and how you solve your things. And today's video is none other than, once you hit 40 years, stop looking for a job. This is exactly what you're supposed to do. See, when I tell you not to look for a job, obviously I have to offer you with alternatively, this is what you're supposed to be doing at the end of the day, all right? And this is that video that you ought to watch to the end so that at least you grasp that maximum information. And I believe this information, it is not out there, it is not in public, and this information is not with many people, then you ought to grasp it all that it can help you. All right, let's get in the business now. But before you do that, okay, it is good I inform you things, okay? I always post a video each and every day, and if you don't want to miss out my good videos, down below there, there is a small button, written subscribe, hit that magical button, and also like this video. Never forget one thing, it does not cost you anything, and just like an appreciation. Let's get the business now. Yeah, this is what you understand about life, okay? Now, since you were born, and this is how the life is, it's quite interesting. The moment you are 0 to 18 years, guess what happens? At this particular point, you are legally, you're not only dependent to people, but you are legally dependency. All right, at this particular age, meaning that that ought you need, that what you need as far as the provisions are concerned, even by law, it is backing you, you're supposed to be helped. And guess what? These are the priorities or these are the things that you get once you're from 0 to 18 years, the right to be provided. You have the right to be provided. Ain't gonna go to all the rights of our kids and all those kind of things. You guys know them, okay? You have the right to be provided. And at this particular point, though you cannot question your parent like, hey, why aren't you providing this and that? Obviously, that may appear rude but something also. But the reality is, not only socially but legally, you actually have the right to depend on them by law, right? Another right that you actually enjoy theory that you owe everyone, they owe you everything. That's for sure. I mean, when you're 0 to 18, you barely know nothing. At this particular point, they owe you everything. They ought to provide for you. They ought to support you in everything. Okay, If it's about entrepreneurship, they need to teach you about money. They need to teach you and all those kind of things. I mean, simply from 0 to 18 years, we can call it like the age bracket of entitlement. You know, this is the most beautiful age that you can ever be in life. And by the way, some guys were asking me, what's the best memory about the childhood that you always remember and love. Yeah, I would say not paying bills. It's like the best, okay? Now, you go to the next level. The next level is now from 19 to 24. Uh, this particular age is what we call the self-realization. This is when you turn to, and, hey, hey, guess what? What does it mean to be a man? What does it mean to be a lady? What does it mean to be this? What does it mean to be tall, dark, and handsome? Hey, what does it mean to be a beautiful lady and all those? There is a self-realization, okay? Guess what happens? At this particular point, you there is a thing, thing called the onset of earning. Maybe you start earning some few coins here and there. You get employed you get some cash here and there may not be that big but at least you're doing something remember this particular age this is the age that you're done with high school probably you're doing away with the tertiary education that the university or college or something of sort and guess what it's an exploration age you're allowed to try many things here and there you know you can actually be tolerated but cautiously well you're regarded as a an adult, obviously, because you're above 18 years old. And by the way, even the, your parents can actually go to the law and say, hey, we cannot be able to provide for these guys because he's an adult. And by law, you're supposed to be provided until 18 years. At this particular point, you're regarded as an adult, but you can be tolerated here and there. But the point is this, that is done actually in a very cautious way. You can be tolerated cautiously. That's what you're supposed to understand. Okay, now let's go. We hit another magical year. That is 25 all the way to that five years. At this particular age, guess what happens? Obviously, Obviously, you're regarded as a young adult. There are things we don't expect you to do from this particular age, all right? Some don't grow older or rather grow you know, sort of in a sluggish way. Others do so very quickly. But the point is this, when you're 25 to 35 years old, this is where we regard you as a youth. This is the most productive, the prime time of your life. That's a, that's a reality. And this is what we say when you can make or break your life. When I say make or break, I don't mean like being wealthy or extra millionaire or something of that. What I mean by this age is that you're expected to actually put your house in order, your, your mentality to your perception and all those kind of things and this again is the age bracket when you're supposed to try many things somebody's talking about shares learn about shares what are they learn about stocks learn about index fund learn about businesses learn about savings learn about investments learn about social life spirituality learn about 
everything and anything. You're supposed to equip and amass yourself with knowledge at all the time. So, but if you have what we call the misdirected energy, then at the end of the day, you ain't gonna learn nothing. So, are these things you are supposed to try many things, learn from successful individuals? This is when you follow people who are at their forties and above. These are the people who inspires you. These are the things that you actually pick out. You can actually identify. This is the person whom I would like to be, and all those kind of things. Okay. So, when you're at that twenty-five all the way to thirty-five, you're supposed to work on yourself. Guess what? There is another age that is between 35 years all the way to 40 years. Guess what happened at this particular age? You learned. You have experience. You have been employed. You know something. You know in and out. You know what it means to be an adult. You know what it means to be an, to, to invest. You know what it means to have a job. You know obviously the job does not secure your future the rest of your life. You already know one thing. Hey, what is to have kids? Probably you have kids in one way or the other. Or probably you are about to have kids and such kind of a thing. Like Seriously, I mean, even legally by law, you can be a president in our country. You're supposed to be 35 years and above. If you are that five years and above in our country, you can be a president. If you, they can actually entrust you with the presidency by, by virtue of you being at this age bracket, then it means you're not only regarded by as an adult, you can make a concise decision and all those kind of things. Guess what? At this particular age, at this particular age, what happens is that uh, you are supposed to actually get this five years bracket that has been opened here to prepare yourself psychologically. The moment you clock 40 years and above, you are supposed to actually rely on the experience that you've gathered throughout your life all the way since you are 19 up to 40 years. That is 21 years on top of your head. So what happens at this particular age? Now, what happens is that you rely on yourself. You're supposed to create. You see, you see when you are 40 and... and, and um, I know this one may sound kind of controversial or something of sort. You see, when you get programmed and you're told that you can only survive by you getting employed and surviving by jobs and such kind of a thing, it's quite sort of a, a worrying mentality. It's quite sort of a thing that is getting into a lot of people, especially those who uh, you know, go with the system and all those kind of things. But what happens is this. When you're at your 40, you're supposed to have this mentality of, hey, remember one thing, the juniors at your 20s are actually, the juniors at their 20s are looking up on you they say hey you know what that guy is you know featured in the magazine of 40 under 40 you know that guy is a creator maybe say you have been let's pick a very simple and average example say you have been employed in a certain business okay and you learned the skills of uh, savings let's say that business used to do maybe with clothing industry or say beauty industry or something or food industry and then you've actually been employed in that place for like the last 15 years you've amassed yourself with the rightful experience you know what's the food industry provided you are prob probably you you know the pricing probably you know all those nitty gritties what you're supposed to think about you know is about creation is about to bring forth remember one thing i always and I'll never forget to remind you this that jobs are actually of what you call the temporary comfort it is like taking a painkiller it's like you get cut somewhere and you're taking the painkiller but you're not treating the actual problem you're not actually taking the antibiotics and all those kind of things so you're just swallowing the painkillers just because you want to release yourself from the pain and that is exactly what the job does gives you the salary at the end of the month and then that salary ought to cater for the basic needs and maybe say you are financially illiterate you misdirect that money towards entertainment then you misuse it then you're going to still come back to the same place you get the similar um, amount of money at the end of the month continuously and then by the time you realize hey they tell you guess what you can no longer work we consider you not productive because you are old then they tell you they retire you not by your choice but their choice by their decision all right so the point is this at this particular level, I am not saying that you switch off from working. I'm not saying that you go ahead and retire from, or resign from the job that you're having. At this particular job, as much as maybe you may not be so good financially stable or something of sort, you're supposed to be thinking on how you can be able to create, be able to bring something forth. For God's sake, you have been, you've been accumulating an experience over 21 years. At that particular point, let's say maybe you had decided to dedicate, you know, learning a skill for only, maybe let, let me even say like 20 minutes for every each and every day. You've actually become an expert on a something. At that particular point, you're not supposed to be paid based on what you do. You're supposed to be paid based on the value that you have, the skill that you're bringing on board. That is exactly what you're supposed to do. Otherwise, if you perceive life from the perspective of, hey, guess what? Oh, what? I deserve to be paid, I deserve to do all those kind of things, you become nagging, you become dependent, you're still behaving like an individual who is at 19 to 24, you know, like, uh, you, you get what I'm saying. Well, I understand, and, and I fully stand corrected, you can be in a situation whereby, yeah, you are at your 40, but things haven't been so good to you, 
and such kind of such kind of a things happens in life that's a reality but as much as that is happening you're supposed to have a difference you're supposed to have a different mindset you're not supposed to have a mindset of you have to sort of you know be employed for you to cater for yourself and all those kind of things you're supposed to yeah at this particular point yes i am in need i'm in need just like an individual at 19 to 24 but i'm supposed to pre-program myself think about creation and go and fulfill that purpose that you were created for that purpose why you live that purpose you see each and every one of us we do that's why we are eight, we are that's why we are over 8 billion people on earth because each and every one has a something that we were created for and you for god's sake don't tell me that you have nothing that you can share with the society for example i come here and share things to do with the investment somebody comes here and share things to do with the health somebody comes here and share things to do with the mental health psychology some people come here and share about you get what I'm saying? Each and every one here, are act some are comedians and all those kind of things. So we all have the purpose deep inside of our lives. And the moment you dwell much on what the society is driving you to do, then you are going to go ahead and suppress that what you are created for, that talent, that ability, and all those kind of things. So it is good to make sure that at least you be able to be out there, unleash the real self inside of you. And the only way you can unleash that real self inside of you is to actually, the moment you clock 40, you're supposed to be thinking on a creation point of view by the way it's quite weird if i get you at 40 you're not thinking about investment if i ask you a very simple question uh, what is your target and your target you're telling me i want to work as much as i can so that i be I'm, I'm, i you know i get the next job i get the next job so if you have that job mentality throughout your life job mentality job mentality until you retire it's quite scary that's for a fact but but, but, but when you have the mentality of yeah i'm employed and, and by the way Remember one thing, I did not say you quit the job. You can work all the way up to 60. There is no problem. Provided there are other things that you're creating behind there that are inspiring other people, that are securing your future, that are securing your retirement, and all those kind of things. So the point is this. If you can be a job at this particular age, but you have the mentality of, hey, Joseph, I would like to know things to do with investments. Hey, by the way, you always talk about rates. What are rates? Hey, you know what, Joseph, I'd like to know what are index funds. Oh, and by the way, what are these T-bills? What are T-bonds? Oh, by the way, I would like to have a conversation with you pertaining to this kind of a thing or you can be hey guess what i'm employed here but i'm also putting on a certain project somewhere or maybe you can say like hey guess what joseph i'm at 40 honestly speaking i do not have uh you know a saved amount of money somewhere i do not have the capacity to start a business but i'm thinking um of creating something there is a talent that i have there is an app i'm developing hey guess what i know one two three things and that's kind of a things by the way i'm thinking about instead of being employed i'm thinking of partnering with an individual who has the cash so that at least i may disseminate or may uh, offer the services that i have the the experience that i I have and then they bring the cash that they have and then we might become more productive to each Th that is the kind of a conversation that you're supposed to have but when you're at your foot you're still complaining like somebody who is at this age then it becomes a little bit confused society why because you do not understand at this particular age who should be confusing who should be actually uh, you know sort of complaining about the same thing yeah and I remember there was a time back when I was in campus I remember it was like sort of my second last exam and before the lecturer handed over the exam paper he asked he asked us a very simple question about very complicated at the same time he did ask that um well, you guys, you are about to get out of this university in Barons, and uh, what exactly are your plans? And then that guy actually asked everybody in that classroom. We weren't that many. We were actually around 40, and, and 45, I remember. And, and then the, 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 most of the people would be like, hey, I will look for a job. Hey, I will start a business. I will do this. I will do that. I will do that. Most of the people, obviously, if statistic, statistically, most of the people are saying they will look for a job. And, and I was like, okay, this lecturer is actually working in a place where um, I intend to go. You, I don't want to mention the names of the places because if I do so, Kenyans will be able to know what I'm talking about. And I was kind of worried. I was like, okay, fine. I'm about to graduate. Obviously, I'm looking forward to getting a job. But this guy is working. He's a lecturer at the same time. He's working from the same company where likely I can be able to go. This guy is quite old. He's, um, he has been in this game for quite a long time. He's a doctor by profession or the doctor of philosophy. Like, I asked myself, what have you created? You know, that thing used to really intrigue me. And I was like, damn, this is not the kind of of a lifestyle i would really prefer i would be there's nothing wrong with being a lecturer there's nothing wrong with being a teacher or that's kind of a thing we do respect them they are great people but at the same time it's, it's good when you ask yourself fine i've been having all this experience and i've been having all this education sometimes a little bit of money because i'm employed what have i created what am i gonna leave behind and people gonna take that that thing and say hey guess what 
we really appreciate this guy. Can you imagine the guy who invented the car? Whatever that guy is, is like everyone is enjoying my invention. So what exactly are you doing in terms of that? I'm saying I'm not saying that everyone should invent everything or anything. I'm saying just do something that you know you are good at. Put it out there. If you're good at voice, if you're good at speaking, public speaking, you have the charisma, you can talk, you can advise people on beauty, you can cook, you can dance, you can just do that thing and then people will actually not can you imagine this we usually pay uh, cristiano ronaldo for him doing what he loves he's enjoying the game and being played at the same time that's quite interesting and if you realize the secret of life life becomes a quite interesting and that's exactly how we do it i really hope i've spoken a sense out of this conversation you know and, and that's the whole point of you subscribing and also liking the video i mean seriously tell me what you think on what i've just shared on this specific video for now it's a good bye but never forget my number is always on my description of this specific video. Pick it up. Just have a conversation. Now it's a goodbye. See ya.